Hey there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today we're going to go over how to add and edit a blog post in your Website Builder blog feature. So, as always, to get started, we're going to go ahead and log into the Builder. Once the Builder loads, on that left menu, you're going to see the option that says Blog. So, go ahead and click on that, and it's going to bring up some options. You'll see the option to preview your main page and your post page. You'll have the option to change the design if you decide you don't like how this looks. You can see your most recent posts and then you can manage your posts. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. To the right, you're going to see the blogs that you've created. As I mentioned, there are some default blogs that are going to be in there from the builder. Um, so you can delete those. And if you want to create your own content, you'll want to click Create New Post in the top left corner. It's going to have you add some information to your blog, like the title, um, the date. You're going to add an author's name if you have one. Um, you're also going to set up an image. Now, you want to make sure that this image is eye-catching and relevant to the content. Um, you do need to have the image in there. You can't delete it. But it's a good thing because content with images are so much more likely to be clicked on than content with just text only. So add a picture that's relevant to the content. You can either upload an image or use one of our stock images. For this example, I'm just going to choose one since I'm not actually writing a blog post right now. You'll also want to set up the tags. Now, tags are going to be specific to the content of your post. It's very similar to the categories that you'll see in the Website Builder e-commerce. Basically, you just want to tell people what your blog is about in really simple sort of hashtag-like tags. That way, when people are going to your blog, say you're a web designer and you're writing content about how to integrate social media, how to you know do different design options, about elements, about SEO, and the person going to your site specifically wants to read about SEO, they can click the SEO tag that you've created and add it to any blog that is relevant to SEO. And then it's just going to pull up the posts that are relevant to what they want to see. So it's a much better customer experience. It gets them the information faster, um, and it's more likely that they're going to stay on your site. So add the tags that relate to your post. Try to keep it simple. Don't add too many because then it makes it less likely that people are going to read through your list of tags. Um, and then you're ready to start creating your blog. Under advanced options, you can set a specific URL. By default, it's going to use the title of your blog as the ending for the URL, but you can customize it. It'll also, by default, add a summary for the blog page. Um, and that's just going to be the first couple sentences of your actual post content. If you decide you want to put something specific, you can choose Use Custom Summary, and then you can type your own. Um, I also recommend putting in a description for the cover image for your blog. And then you're ready to start writing your content. Um, these options are just very basic and normal text formatting and editing options. You know, you can change the size. Um, heading is the largest subheading, and then normal. Um, you can make it bold, italic, and underlined. You have, you know, the centering options. You can do bullet points or numbers. So, I mean, those are pretty general options. You can link text within your blog post. So if you want to link to a page on your website, a third-party URL, you know, contact information like your email or phone number, or like a document, like a PDF or something you want people to be able to view, you can link inside of your blog post. And then you can add elements like an image in the middle of your blog or a video. Um, for sort of page breaks, you could add lines to separate content. And you can add a heading, subheading, and just regular paragraph text boxes. So there's definitely a lot of options you have with creating the content here. And then once you're done, you can come to the bottom of the blog post and you'll see the status says published by default. Let's say you're still not done creating the post, but you need to be done editing for now. You can change it to a draft. 
That way it's saved but not visible by your site viewers. But if you are done, you can leave it unpublished. You can set a blog to be featured or pinned. Now, featured is an element that is available under the blog elements in Website Builder. Um, it's a box that'll have a list of posts that you have set as featured. So they're just, you know, if you're trying to highlight a certain topic, you can put all of the blogs on a certain topic in the featured post that'll be shown in a separate box than the regular posts. Um, the pinned posts are the ones that you want to show at the very top, regardless of how old they are. Um, so obviously the latest post is going to show up towards the top, but if you pin a post, even if it's, you know, months back, you can have it show up at the top. And so you want to use this to highlight the important information that you think is relevant to your viewers that they should be seeing. Um, once you're done doing that, you can preview the post to see how it's going to look on your website. And then when you're done with that, you can save the post and have it be published. So it's fairly simple creating the content here. And then if you are in your editor, if you go to the blog page, that's going to be the first one that shows up. If you click on it, you'll see the content. Um, now the layout for this page, this is the post page in your builder. So if you go to the post page, that's the layout that the content that you've created is going to fit into. So if you saw, this was where community blog showed up because that was the title. The image showed up here, you know, the date there. So the content that you put into the blog post will fit itself into the layout you have on this page. So you really don't want to delete content, um, but just move it around if you want a different layout or design. So that is how you add and edit a blog post in Website Builder blog. And so you're ready to get started.